Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. While most people tolerate coenzyme Q10 well, it can cause some mild side effects including stomach upset, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. It can cause allergic skin rashes in some people. It also might lower blood pressure, so check your blood pressure carefully if you have very low blood pressure. Take our lead. As ubiquinol levels start to be restored in the blood plasma, many people should see reduced signs of fatigue on about the fifth day after starting the supplement. Usually within two to three weeks, your body's amount of ubiquinol will reach optimum levels, and many will feel a difference in energy within this time. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Additionally, Coke the 10th of May reduce the effectiveness of blood thinning drugs, such as warfarin, and this may increase the risk of blood clots. Coke the 10th of May also interfere with insulin and some chemotherapy medications. Make your mark. Take our lead heart conditions. Coke 10 has been shown to improve symptoms of congestive heart failure. Although findings are mixed, Coke 10 might help reduce blood pressure. Some research also suggests that when combined with other nutrients, Coke 10 might aid recovery in people who've had bypass and heart valve surgeries. Take our lead. Coke 10 comes in two different forms, ubiquinol and ubiquinone. Ubiquinol accounts for 90% of the Coke 10 in the blood and is the most absorbable form. Thus, it's recommended to choose from supplements containing the ubiquinol form, 57, 58. Take our lead. People undergoing chemotherapy with certain drugs should use coenzyme Q10 with caution. High blood pressure or low blood pressure, coenzyme Q10 might lower blood pressure. It can increase the effects of medications used to lower blood pressure. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.